joining me in this live chat. Don't drop the phone and the um, drop. I will try not really to. Are you finishing all this in one sitting, Jess? Oh, um, yeah. don't judge me, Erin. Don't judge me. <laughs> So by the way, like we actually uh, get it from all three locations, different locations. So who represent Richmond? Raise your hand. Me. Who so represent I'm Burnaby? Me. Yay! And then downtown here. Downtown. They deliver to anywhere in the lower mainland too. So even you live in Surrey, live in, you even live in Coquitlam, you know, like they deliver to you as well. So which is good. Honestly, I feel like it's a really good deal. So I don't have to go outside and buy food. Yeah. It comes with everything. It comes with vegetables, it comes with mushrooms, a lot of meat. Um, and like they literally give you like all the toppings that you need for your sauces. Oh. So you don't even have to worry about that. So it's pretty awesome. And I got a bib. Like how cute is this? But like how come Emma and David got like the cool bibs and I got this? Oh yeah, me too. Like I got a different bib. I got like the plastic bib. <laughs> the diner bib. We're the super good. Huh. Oh, ours is different too. Ours is like, different. Yeah. Yours, yours is different? Yeah, mine's eye heart. Oh, yeah. I love like yours. Yours is so cute. <laughs> mine says, mine says, far yeah, me I like, up. I like the, the I kind of like the eye heart, like, yeah. the one we showed though. That's pretty cute. Yeah. What guys, what are you guys eating right now? Which well, is I'm making this right now. I think it's the okay. feeding. What do you guys need for broth? When you run out of broth, when broth evaporates, what are you guys adding to it? Oh, water. Just water, yeah. Water, okay. Well, yeah, you can add chicken broth too if you like it a little fancier, but. Yeah. It's water then. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that hot pot restaurants they add chicken broth so it doesn't dilute it. Yeah. But at home, since you want to be a little more healthy, you can just add hot water. And honestly, at home, when I do hot pot, I just do like chicken stock and hot water. Unless it's the tomato soup or the uh, the mixed mushroom, they're they, they, the hundred percent vegetarian. Hmm, so. that's good. How do you like the mushroom soup? It's actually really good. I love both soups actually. I'm finally taking my first bite. I'm so behind. Yay! We should all have like a like a bite. Cheers! Cheers. I'm eating the shrimp paste. Ooh. I really like the way it looks. Shape, thumbprint. I was like, oh, a little spoon for a shrimp paste, you know, just make a little ball, right? Uh, so good. I really enjoy the, the spicy uh, soy sauce that they make with the fresh garlic and the red chilies. Really, really good. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, 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 really good. I know. Mm. Woo! Who's having the, the, the non meat protein right now? What's the non-meat protein? Oh, the blood. I haven't tried that well, yet. The, okay. There's also the Doug blood, the beet tribe, and okay. also the Jessica beet. likes this, though. I am so optimistic about trying this for the first time. And if I don't like it, I'm going to be like, Jess, what did you tell me? And it goes. You know who really <laughs> loves this? The uh, uh, crispy. Just so much last time. I feel so bad breaking into the paste. It's so nice, but I'm like, oh, it's so delicious, too. But the rice, too. Like, I'm a person who I like Meat with rice, so it's nice that the issue offers fried rice. I think that's really clever. Yeah, so they they have four really popular items right now for hot pot. Uh, oh, sorry, for takeout. So we have, first, so you can have the full hot pot deal, and also you have the dry hot pot, and also you have the cob, the spicy warm salad, or or, or warm mix. Uh, Chinese is mala ban. It's just like, you can order like three items from your hot pot menu and they just make a warm salad for you. And then it's only like 18 bucks or something. It's pretty like... I mean, I think this day and age, people like yeah. customize them. And also, have you guys had the dry hot pot? No. dry hot pot. Dry hot pot is like, you can order anything on the hot pot menu. Uh, you usually get three meats, three vegetables, four vegetables. And you know, and then some other items, and then they would actually make it into a big uh, pan fry dish for you with the spicy sauces. Oh! Yeah. So this is actually very popular. There's a lot. Actually, 
um, special dry hot pot restaurant in Richmond, called Xiang Guo, in, in, in Mandarin, Xiang Guo. Yeah, and, and in. Do you add like a, like a rice or like a noodle base to it, like a starch to it? No, it's basically just baked like pan fried dish, and then you order the rice uh, on the side or like on the noodle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
Uh, well, I put everything there. down before bringing it inside my house. So there's a whole thing you can do to prevent it. I try my best to wipe everything down first. But I still want to like support local businesses, right? Yeah. yeah. So like, you know, for Fridays and during the weekends, we usually order takeout for the whole entire family. Oh. And it's really nice. Like the portions are really good. Mm -hmm. um, they're really fast at delivering it. The food quality is still bomb. So yeah, yeah I'm still doing it. Sometimes it's like you crave certain foods when you're at home and you can't do, you know what I mean? It's true. It's true. Yeah. Limitation. So therefore you crave to eat outside and then you just crave what you already know. I miss most the settings. Like, kind of experience when you go out to a restaurant. So like, post up at the bar, people watch, chat, and just, you know, dress up. So I miss that pageantry. Mm -hmm. I actually just miss being out in the open, like being out in the restaurant, the service, interaction, the atmosphere, like not having to make the food, <laughs> like showing up that I want this, and it's like you, you know what to expect already in a way. Yeah. Or yeah. clean up after yourself. You yeah, clean up after yourself. True. I wouldn't try those uh, cuttlefish balls. They're like, they're actually handmade. Oh, really good. I tried like a couple earlier and it was like bomb. Yeah. David, can you tell uh, the viewers sort of like um, how the show stands apart from others? Like why would people go to it? You know, that kind of thing. Basically, they're probably one of the biggest hot pot chain in the world. Um, like I was told last year, they have, they have 1,500 now. And there's like 14... There's 14 locations in, in North America. Uh, uh, these have actually eight of them in Canada. We have three in Vancouver, we have three in Toronto, and we have one in Edmonton and one in Ottawa. So that's what we have in, in Canada. Um, I think I like their food. It's like they actually have really authentic Sichuan spicy uh, soup. That's what the specialty, but now they just brought in more authentic flavors from all over China. So they have you know, like Kenny style, they have, um, you know, Chinese Northern style. Um, and they have some really new ones too. Like, uh, I think one of, uh, have you, have any of you like uh, tried a tomato one today? Yeah, tomato raw? Yeah. Really good. Really, really good, right? Yeah, nice. Um, and the mushroom one's very popular as well. You know, if you're vegan, um, the, the mushroom broth is the best. Um, Wait, since so so tangents, since you brought up vegan, so vegans who want to order hot pot, what are some of the? I know there's a lot of vegetables, but um, what are some of the good selections that they should choose for their vegan hot pot? Tofu products, so like tofu skin, uh, the Chinese donut in the two, and then that's, oh, like, that's fun. The seaweed knots is really good for vegan. Also, have you guys tried a fried rice yet? Yes, really yummy. Nice. It's, right. it's so good because it's, it's, I, they, they put a lot of eggs in it, right? The eggs make it so, like, so, uh, what's the word? What fried rice is it? Like, what is it called? Um, this is the uh, beef and sauerkraut fried rice. Oh, that's, that's what I'm getting at, like, sauerkraut. Yeah. So is this um, a, a combo people order online via the phone? Where is the menu available for them to look at? Is it through delivery apps? Um, this is actually uh, available through directly through the restaurant. So you just have to call the location and then they would actually deliver to Are all initial hot pots around the world also doing takeout or is it only certain locations? Around the world they're doing takeout. Well, around North America, I know that, yeah. Okay, okay. This is, um, but this is like only available, I know, that, as far as I know, they available in North Mainland. Uh, but some of the location they don't have the hot pot to go. They only have the dry hot pot. Mm, okay. Yeah. They'll just have to check with their location to see what they have to offer. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, I think they practice really, really good. Um, they have a really good practice in the sanitary measures. Um, they call it the zero touch um, uh, care. So there's no hand touch at all. They have to wear like gloves instead of they have to like. Sanitize some, of course. The driver came in gloves and masks and was very respectful of space. Yeah. Point that out. Yeah. And then they would provide this little card, right? So it says it's actually who who is the chef and who packed the food, 
and also like who delivered. And they all have to sign their name, their, their time, and whatnot, right? So to make sure. It's really cool. I've never seen any restaurant doing that before. Like, like the first time you see a restaurant actually like taking their body temperature and writing it down. Right. Oh, yeah, they do that, yeah. They yeah, do. yeah. Hey, Maggie, what are you drinking here? Yeah, beer. Beer goes great with hot pot because, like, I think it's so flavorful that the beer kind of gives a bit of, like, that acidity. I don't agree, but I don't have beer at home right now, and that's not drinking wine. Ah. Uh, like, I would totally go for beer if I'm going for hot pot because it's just, like, it's, like, the right thing to do, you know, but whatever. Wine will do. <laughs> it's all the punchy flavors of hot pot. Like, it's, like, when you go to bar and you have, like, bar foods, like, the punchiness, it helps. Yeah. Do you guys like um, buy? Uh, do you guys buy some masks at home? Yeah, we have like, boxes of masks. Lots of masks. Um, just because like when we're going to grocery stores and everything or picking up stuff, I always have to like wear a mask just in case, right? To be honest. Yeah. Like, How often do you do your grocery now? Once a week. Once a week. Yeah, and I write down everything on the list, so I'm not like browsing around. I'm, I'm legit going to each aisle to specifically go grab stuff, and then I just. Okay. So my face is not turning red right now on camera. No, it's not red at all. I know. Usually when I get like a cup, like when I drink a couple of sips, I always turn red so bad. But on camera, I feel like I look fine, which is great. Your day, girl. Yeah. Or maybe because you had all the hot pot first and then you started drinking oh, after. Yeah, so like I bought them and now I'm adding all the wine. It's not yeah. You're based. You're drinking well. Carbs, food, base. <laughs> So you guys, out of all the ingredients that we had, top three favorite ones from this set. Food. Food. Like top three food, everything. No, yeah, out of everything from the set that we've had today that we're raising on, what's your top three favorite? Cuttlefish. Yeah, the cuttlefish balls. I love those. You like the shrimp taste? I like the shrimp taste, yeah. Shrimp taste? Yeah, that one was, yeah. That was cool. well, I didn't get cuttlefish balls. I thought you were like, talking, you guys talking about balls and talking about cakes. Yeah, I didn't get cuttlefish balls. You didn't get cuttlefish balls, right? It's, um, it's actually, the, the cuttlefish ball doesn't come with the menu, but you can actually ask them if you can actually swap one of the you know items that you get. Uh, uh, besides the two meats, the beef and the lamb, uh, they also the dead blood, right? And the wang, the wang ho, and also the... Um, there's four actually. The Huang Ho and um, the Bee Tribe and the uh, Dead Blood and the Shrimp Paste. There's four of them, right? But if, if you actually want, oh, I, I don't want the Bee Tribe, so you can substitute, you can ask them if they substitute, like, you know, the Bee Tribe with the little fish ball or any bean ball. Um, you know, they will recommend something that's not too meaty because there's a lot of meat already, you know, for two people. So that's why they usually like recommend like cuttlefish ball. That's that's why I it's safer because not everyone's gonna like duck blood. It's very good. Yeah, the duck, the duck blood too. Yeah. But I'd highly recommend to try it at least once and see if you like it. You know, <laughs> um, it's kind of like tofu. And you can order anything else, like you know, like if you, you can ask them like if they order something on the side, right? So it's like, oh, I want a little bit more mushroom. So that's why I ordered a mushroom on the side too. The, the mushroom actually doesn't, the mushroom doesn't come with the coffee. Oh. You say, oh, if I don't want the, the, the natural cabbage, can I have some mushroom? You can ask them. They can probably do it for you. So, yeah. Is the menu available on the Instagram? The menu? Yeah. Oh, we're going to, uh, I think they're going to post it on uh, Facebook and Instagram, the menu. I think they're going to post it on Facebook and Instagram, the menu. Uh, there is there are also a four person uh, menu as well, and that's a, even a better deal actually. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's two thirty, so I'm gonna log off. Yeah, I no, think you're, you're I still have to go to the bathroom. Yeah, you have to go to the bathroom. Yeah, you have to go to the bathroom. Yeah, you have to go to the bathroom. Like this virtual party. Um, but we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Two, three, two.